Hi everyone, this is Dan from WebOS Roundup, and this is part 5 out of 5 of our series titled Webo uh, Tips and Tricks Every WebOS User Should Know. Uh, I covered quite a bit in uh, parts 1 through 4, um, including um, um, general tips, launcher tips, phone, contacts, email, messaging, calendar, browser, camera. Um, and now we come to the last two bits that I want to share with you, and that is um, battery life, I'm trying to conserve battery life that is, and media sync. Now, if you want to get more detail on these things, check out our website at webosroundup.com. It's much more detailed. Uh, <clears throat> this is just an overview. Um, so let's cover battery life first. Okay, let's be honest. Battery life on this thing uh, is pretty lousy. Um, there are things that you can do uh, to improve it, um, and I'll get to those in a minute. I'm setting them up in the meantime. Um, but in the meantime, I do recommend that you carry a spare. Um, this phone currently has the CDO, that's S-E-I-D-I-O, uh, the CDO uh, 1350 uh, charger. Um, so that gives it about 10% eh, more juice. Um, CDO also se sells a 2600 high capacity one, so that pretty much doubles the, the capacity, but it, it makes the phone uh, like about 5 millimeters thicker. It really does change the shape and feel of the phone substantially. Um, <clears throat> but it does give you more juice. Now the thing I don't like about uh, the, the extended life batteries that make your phone fatter is not because it makes it fat, is because it doesn't work with the touchstone charger and for me I love my touchstone charger I keep it next to my bed so um, so I, I so I, I'm not gonna get one of those fatter batteries until it, it uh, works with the char uh, touchstone charger okay um, you can find there's different brands like Amzer, Mugen that's M-U-G-E-N um, and you can even find uh, some extended batteries on eBay um, they're they're cheap I've seen some like 20 uh, 2200 uh, milliampage I guess that's I guess you could call that maybe about 75 percent more juice for like 20 something bucks um, again uh, you know it's it doesn't it, it comes with a thicker case <clears throat> and um, it's it's uh, also does not work with the touchstone charger so you know you gotta you gotta remember that one thing that people that I keep getting asked is you know people tell me oh I don't want to charge my battery frequently uh, because uh, because it'll kill the battery and uh, direct from palm and sprints manual it does say that these lithium-ion batteries actually need to be charged as frequently as possible keep it to keep it topped off as, as best you can um, that is basically uh, the, 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 the strategy with older batteries like uh, nickel cadmium and nickel metal um, and hydride batteries, I think I said that right. Um, those those batteries you had to sometimes run it all the way down and then charge it back up. Not so with these lithium ion batteries. In fact, it's better you not um, uh, uh, go below 20 as often as you can. Okay. You'll notice here I have the brightness down low. That's all, that's for the purposes of this video. But I found in my personal experience that screen brightness probably eats battery close to probably is among the top things in my experience that it really eats battery so make sure that you uh, bring uh, your your um, screen brightness down to a minimum at all times if you're indoors okay um, I've installed the patch um, this is a homebrew check out my next uh, article actually that's uh, my, my tips and tricks bonus um, but there's there's a patch here that just lets me do it here in, uh, in the main device menu um, Palm really should have made that standard. Maybe they will later. But anyway, so okay, so bring down the brightness all the way down, and then um, you can also shut off uh, your GPS. Go to locate me using, uh, and then just get rid of Google services. Get rid of GPS, and uh, and then that and that's good if you do that. Um, also, Bluetooth naturally have it off. Wi-Fi. Um, this is slightly controversial, but uh, the conventional wisdom is now saying uh, the standard reply that many people are saying now is to leave it on. If you're in a if you're in a Wi-Fi hotspot, Wi-Fi eats less battery than your phone's radio. Okay, so if you want to conserve battery, make sure you use Wi-Fi to uh, get your email, to get your to get on the web pages, to get on Twitter, uh, Pandora, whatever. Try and use Pandora. Uh, 
try and use uh, Wi-Fi, it eats less um, battery, okay? Um, let me see, what else can I tell you? Basically, try and um, connect to the cloud as little as possible. Um, in email, for example, if you have your email fetching regularly, 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 uh, that's going to eat battery um, quite a bit. So go into your preferences and accounts and uh, and shut off um, the manual fetch. Try to make. I have my, uh, my a lot of my um, emails fetching maybe oh I don't know every couple of hours, and then my more important uh, accounts I have checking every 15 minutes or so. Um, exchange accounts. They're actually more efficient at doing push email. That is, as items arrive, they're more efficient. They don't suck as much battery. Gmail is probably in second place. And then uh, accounts like Hotmail and stuff, um, they're in third place. And I had personal experience with this when I had Hotmail. It, it really killed my battery. That was a while back, and that may have changed. Um, any apps that you have, like um, uh, like DealAlert, that search for, uh, for searches for deals online, um, and, uh, Twitter, you know, you have Twitter notifications that are uh, automatically connecting to the cloud uh, uh, to, to get your tweets. All of these things uh, cause your pre to be connected uh, uh, to the cloud, and when it connects to the cloud, it really sucks up juice. Another thing I would tell you is definitely make sure um, this is the message. This is the messaging app here. Okay, I have my finger in the way just to cover people's names, but um, I have it. I have it on right now. Go to Buddies here at the top, and then make sure that you're logged out of your um, chat, your internet messaging, okay? Because that really does uh, eat up battery, okay? That pretty much does it. Uh, those are the top. There's, there's other things you can do, but those are the top recommendations that I have uh, for um, conserving battery life. Um, if you really want to uh, get... Um, if you really want to get technical, you can do the uh, thing that I mentioned in the phone um, portion of the tips and tricks. You can type, oh, I didn't even tell you what I just did. In the phone, I did pound pound 3836 pound, and that allows you to choose your different phone radios. So if you're in an area with uh, broadband coverage, broadband sucks more battery than uh, than 1X, okay? so. If you're in, uh, make sure you know what your standard uh, speed is, um, and then uh, just tap one uh, X. You can you can just tap in the same code and and do it again. But uh, if you if you're in an area where you have bad coverage or you know that you're not going to be connecting to the internet and you want to save battery, do that. Go to one X, um, and you will still be able to get all your texts and make phone calls and all that stuff. But um, it won't be sucking as much battery. Okay. Now, uh, music sync, that's the next portion of this talk, and it's really hard for me to do it on video um, uh, on video here, um, but I guess I'll try my best to talk, talk you through it. Um, so basically, I just took off the USB door of my pre, by the way, so I'll fiddle with it. Uh, basically, when you connect your phone, to try and sync uh, for music. This is the basic breakdown, okay? The difference between media sync and USB drive. USB drive, your phone essentially turns into a flash drive, okay? So you'll be able to see the you'll be able to see the drives uh, on your computer and drag and drop your songs. That's great because it's really easy. You can bring your songs uh, over however you want uh, in whatever folders you want, um, and it brings over album art. The only problem with USB drive, though, is you cannot sync playlists. Okay, it does not work. Media Sync does. Um, you can use Media Sync with iTunes if you have the older version of iTunes. If you have a newer version of iTunes, there's other programs that allow for syncing with iTunes, like uh, Double Twist is one of the most common ones. Uh, there's an app called um, uh, iTunes Agent. There's another one called Soling Media Sync. Go to webosroundup.com and I describe all of these. Oh, and GoGadget.com, that's the other one. Um, but if you don't want to use iTunes, you can use others like J River Media of Jukebox. That's my favorite, actually, or Media Monkey. Um, those are all great uh, apps. And what they do is they can you can actually uh, bring songs on here as playlists, um, but you cannot do regular drag and drop. And then another problem is when you try and go in using uh, your phone as a flash drive, 
it's impossible to find your music. You're going to have to interface with your with your uh, computer in order to be able to find it easily. Okay, so I know I just kind of glossed over um, um, uh, uh, music um, sync, but if you if you want more detail, like I said, go to webosrano.com. All right, well this uh, concludes our tips and tricks video series. Again, go to webosroundup.com. I do have one section left. Um, that's the bonus. Trust me, you don't want to miss that. It's uh, I cover homebrew and all the wonderful things that the homebrew community is doing for webos. All right. Thanks for watching, and see you on webosroundup.com.